What has happened in the world that normal now passes as excellence? Yesterday. When did we lower our standards? Yesterday. We are living in an environment where people are blind. What you don't see, you don't know. Out of sight, out of mind. Something happened tonight, something bad. Our husbands aren't coming back. We're on our own. They stole a lot of money. And now people want it from us. Now the best thing we have going for us is being who we are. Why? Because no one thinks we have the balls to pull this off. Okay. So far, so good. Just don't worry, this trailer is grand enough that I can interrupt and you can still enjoy the rest of it. But let's talk about what we've seen so far. It started off with Leon Nielsen doing something other than a another Taken movie, which is good. Then you see my man John Berthold. That's the, I can't think that's the right way to say his name. You know, the Punisher. Seeing him in it get me hyped already. Then you see the all-star cast of women that we like to see in movies and shows. And it's just it's it's, show, it's just showing some good stuff so far. This this is inspiration that made me do this episode because I didn't have any. That's what took so long. But when I seen this trailer, and that's why I'm doing this whole channel, because of inspiration, I see hype trailers. This should get you hype. Let's go into it. Think about what you see and discuss it with me. That's why you should follow me on Twitter, Vintage Grenade, and let me know, okay, I saw that trailer. Okay, this is another trailer I want to see. This is what I thought. I don't know about what you were saying about that trailer. Let me know. Let's go back into it. When this world got you down on your knees. If this whole thing goes wrong, I want my kids to know that I didn't just sit there and take it. I did something. In this city, you reap what you sow. Let's hope so. I said it's an all-star cast some of them just playing supporting roles but this movie in a way I'm not that type of person to like movies with unnecessary drama as far as like oh why they robbing a bank why they living that lifestyle they could have avoided that I, I don't like manufactured drama but this movie is something I could kick back and watch and that's the purpose of a trailer that makes you say okay I want to see that movie from that Look like it's going to be good acting, all-star cast, blah, blah, blah. So with that said, with this channel, this particular channel, what we want to do is say, from our predictions, from looking at the trailer, do you think this was a, 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 a great trailer? Yes. Do you think this is going to be a good movie? Yes. Do you think it's going to go, do good in the movie theaters? I think so. So this movie is coming out soon, I believe, in soon November something soon. Anyway, so what we're gonna do after the movie come out, I expect you to go see it. I know I'm gonna go see it. Come back, we'll revisit it and see if our predictions was right. Did it do good? Well, we already know it's a good trailer. You let me know once again. Get back at me, Vintage Grenade on Twitter. You can also hit my Instagram. Same thing. Venice Grenade, and let me know what you think. Now, we haven't revisited a movie because I just started this channel, so let's go into, and plus, I try to bring good trailers, good trailers, but not everything is going to be good. I'm not going to bad mouth people's art, you know, because no matter how bad a movie is or whatever, people put time and sweat into making this stuff. I don't know who greenlight all this stuff, but that's another story. 
Now let's go into a trailer that I thought about and, and when I seen the trailer, I was like, okay, I need to review movie trailers. I ain't like this trailer, blah, blah, blah. Let's go into a movie that already came out. Uh, Ready Player One. Steven Spielberg, I know he did um, the Ren Ten Ten thing where it was all animation. I like Steven Spielberg. He is the man. When I seen this trailer, I was like, it's kind of cheesy. I see aspects that they putting in it, but I don't like this trailer because I don't like the movie. You can't like a trailer and not like the movie. You can't like the movie, not like the trailer. But I did. I was like, I don't think this trailer is good, but mainly because of the movie. And I don't think the movie is gonna be good. Now that movie's already came out. It did okay, whatever in the movie theaters. Did I watch it? <coughs> 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 I seen scenes of it. Y'all let me know if you think I'm right or wrong. Let's get into the better, more trailers. Good trailers. Yeah. Some guy called over here, a doctor. He's looking for a driver. You interested? I am not a medical doctor. I'm a musician. I'm about to embark on a concert tour in the Deep South. What other experience do you have? Public relations. Do you foresee any issues in working for a black man? You and the Deep South? There's gonna be problems. Promise me you're gonna write me a letter. No problems. Tell me that don't smell good. I've never had fried chicken in my life. You people love the fried chicken. You have a very narrow assessment of me, Tony. Yeah, right? I'm good. I'm the way I know. Who would be interacting with some of the wealthiest people in the country? It is my feeling that your addiction Oof. could use some finessing. Fanana, why are you breaking my balls? Because you can do better, Mr. Balalonga. Dear Dolores. I saw Dr. Shirley play the piano. He's like a genius, I think. Come on, take it easy. I prefer not to get grease on my blanket. Ooh, I'm gonna get grease on my blanket. This gentleman says that I'm not permitted to dine here. I'm afraid not. How does he smile and shake their hands like that? Because it takes courage to change people's hearts. What are you doing? A lot of May I? Dear Dolores, sometimes you remind me of a house. You know this is pathetic, right? Put this down. The distance between us is breaking my spirit. Falling in love with you was the easiest thing I have ever done. P.S. Kiss the kids. That's like clinging a cowbell at the end of Shostakovich's which is the seven. And that's good. It's perfect, Tony. Man, don't you dislike when you taping and your battery runs out? I don't know what I do. In a way. This movie comes off to a good start. Mahershala Ali, I don't know if you checked him out in Roxanne. Roxanne, that's kind of one of the first times I've seen him, but he's an award-winning actor and, and he was good in that. He was real believable in that movie and then was so believably bad. In this movie, he's real believable as a totally different character. And Viggo Mortensen, of course, he won awards, you know, you know with that anyway but this trailer so far I like the music you know the whole thing inspired by a true story that gets you thinking okay this is something I want to see then how they you know come off with the music and how it sync along with when they play the, the, the uh, trombones and all that stuff time and effort was put into this trailer and then it goes into this Thanksgiving which means it's coming soon so we could do what we want to do, which is review it, then go back, see it, and then have our assessments of it. But, and then after this Thanksgiving, you will see the, 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 um, the music kind of sombers down to the, you know, really get into, you know, the relationship and the story and more dramatic aspects of this trailer. Let's finish this. Yeah. You never win with violence. You only win when you maintain your dignity. You don't know your own people. You, Mr. Big Shot, doing concerts for rich people. So if I'm not black enough, and if I'm not white enough, then tell me, Tony, what am I? Won't you tell me? Anyone can sound like Beethoven. 
for your music when you do. Only you can do that. What do we do about the bones? We do this. <laughs> Pick it up, Tony. Squirrels would eat it anyway. Pick it up. Now, by the end of this trailer, you should have been getting some emotion. Some emotion shit started gathering up in you as they start escalating the music, which is like choir music, to get you ins inspired and hyped up. So, overall, this is a good trailer. It's going to be an excellent movie. It is a, a um, Academy Award season com coming up. So, I think, you let me know. Like I said, get at me. Social media, Twitter, blah, 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 blah. Now, try to bring quality good trailers. But, like I said, I ain't gonna bad mouth movies, but as something else inspired me. Seen the trailer for Predator. The Predator. Now, you know, after the second one, they try to re, you know, go into it and revitalize it. And, oh, that's my phone, don't worry about that. Anyway, but seeing a pre I'm not really going to go too much into the Predator trailer because I didn't like the trailer. It was kind of good, the very first trailer, where it showed the ship crashing and all that stuff because I like sci-fi and all that stuff. But from looking at the trailer, I don't think it's going to be a good movie. I don't think this movie is going to do good in the movie theater. I like the actors as in a movie, but... And the thing is, about Predator, is like the first original, which is a classic. You're hit. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. Huh. Stick around. It was like you got these super strong guys, you know, assassins and all that, you know, bodybuilders, wrestlers, all that stuff, and, and going against something that could actually take them out which was kind of scary. And then with the second, it was like, we kept, we kept that whole aspect of now we could go into some story about the Predator, but still keep it high action. And that was a good movie. It didn't do good as the original, but, and then you go into Predator versus Aliens, and then the next one after that, where they try to revamp it, the next one after that was pretty garbage. Because it's just, I don't know, but at least with Predator vs. Aliens, they, they, it was a scene where they went to the Predator world and was like, oh, oh, so now you see the Predator world, the Predator, you like, oh, I got a car, I got to get going and do some stuff. You know what I mean? At least you had that. But one thing about these Predator movies, the last one and this one, is too much people. You know, you want to see the monsters and these people, they don't look like they, they too super hype military dudes like you know what I mean like too much people action anyway but anyway anyway what's the next movie Predator 2 he's in town with a few days to kill this Thanksgiving sweet new wheels a little pre-celebration for the big day huh I'm making partner, baby. <clears throat> Time to break that glass ceiling. We all know who deserves this. Give it up for our Summit Worldwide Sports Management's newest partner. Whoa! <laughs> uh, Allie, that pass was actually to Eddie. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Is that the boss? I'm so sick of this boys club. Every day is you don't connect well with men. Just stay in your lane. I don't trust women who don't get dudes. Like I don't trust a man with no eyebrows and too many keys. I know someone you should talk to. I can help you connect with men. Why don't we have some tea? This smells like dirt. Oh, that's just jasmine tea. If you don't count the weed, and the peyote, and the crack. Oh, also my favorite singer in the whole wide world ever. I don't know what I do. Also. Oh, hello. Welcome back, Miss Davis. Thank God this one didn't die on me. Starting today, no more drinking at work. Hey, that's too much information. I didn't say anything. I feel weird after last night. Yeah, that's 
That's what happens when tequila meets desperation. Okay, stop saying things you shouldn't be saying to your boss. Holy crap. Can you hear my inner thoughts? I can hear your inner thoughts. All right. Man, with all the movies that came out, Think Like a Man and, and all these, this is a movie that a dude could watch and be like, yeah, that's what, you, that's what needs to happen. Because a lot of conversations I had is like, don't you know, what, what is it? Women, do y'all think y'all dating other women? Do y'all know what's up with dudes? Dudes think like this. Dudes are like that. And this, it was a movie way back with Mel Gibson where I think he could uh, uh, know what women think and all that stuff, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But this is a movie for this time. And it looked like a, a movie that I can see. This trailer is good so far. Let's finish it. Oh my God. I can only hear men's thoughts. That cloud you're walking through, that's my farts. Yeah. That was a psychic. She gave me this tea. And, and you it. drank it? She said to. I thought black people stopped drinking tea after get out. Why weren't you complaining about men trying to keep you down? Do we have any meetings on the books? Nothing yet. Except the private poker game tonight. This is not a curse. This is a gift. You better think, think about I should tap that ass. Little lady, what you doing at the big boy's table, huh? Two grand. I'm bluffing these fools. I'm missing Real Housewives. Shaq finally has a winning hand. Why am I thinking in the third person? I smell toast. Am I having a stroke? Wait, I have toast in my pocket. Whew. Okay. Well, they just singing Freedom, and we just had the Queen of Soul going home service. Anyway, what was up with that cookie pasta? Anyway, look. This look like this, this fun movie, fun trailer, something I can get into. To Roger P, female actor of our time. Yeah, my predictions. Look, man, I'm not doing this for my health. I'm not on Twitter for my health. You need to get at me on Twitter, finish Benet, and let me know what you think of this trailer. Or you could hit me Gmail, the vintage Renee, let me know what you think. You know what I mean? If you like the trailer, if you don't like it, you think it's going to be a garbage movie, you think it's going to be a good movie, and I'll respond, I'll let you know. It's not coming out there in January, but in a way. So, let's go into something different. I think we went through all the ranges of type of movies. Let's do something different. This movie, hmm, I know I'm going to like it. You might have mixed emotions depending on where you're coming from. We see an actor that we haven't seen that just came out. It was good to see him again. I'll let you check it out. There's been whispers. A thief. He's got our commoners looking up, seeing hope. If I may. I propose a bounty. A thousand a week until he's caught or killed. I've never seen anything like you. You stare death in the face. That's why I chose you. You're not curious? He's under the hood. He's obviously well trained. You clatter him, he's a smash and grabber, nothing more. Who do you think the thief is? He's all of us. So you're an admirer? He has his qualities. He's not you. Are you sure? Exe from Kingsman. Finally see him again. My man Sparks put me on to those Kingsman movies, good movies. Check out my man Sparks at My State Imagery, which I could use some help. I could use some help with my videos. Anyway, but um, yeah. 
Of course, another Robin Hood movie. Another Robin Hood movie. We seen this happen. You know, last time we seen this happen was like with uh with uh Three Musketeers. Didn't do good in the movie theaters. I like that movie. I wanted to see it because of the trailer, the Three Musketeers trailer. Mind you, after seeing the movie, at the end of the Three Musketeers trailer, what made it hype was that scene when he jumped out the building. Mind you, that was the, the bangingest scene in the whole movie, and they showed it in the trailer, which made me want to see the trailer. I don't recommend doing that in trailer, showing the best scene of the whole movie in the trailer. I don't recommend that. But it did make me want to see the movie, so I didn't do good and all this stuff. Then with this, of course, is the whole, uh, like I said, it's been done with uh, Robin Hood and, and somebody trained them to be do this and that. New Age, they always revamp these movies, old time stories, they never die. People love these stories. They revamp them for the New Age. They did one in the 80s, they did one in the 90s, the 2000s, blah, blah, blah. Later on, they probably do another one. and. The type of action, of course, you flipping around and doing all this stuff. You know what I mean? And you know all that. You know what I mean? Of course, they probably wasn't doing that back in the Mario days of England, but action had changed. So, of course, they want to incorporate that. Anyway, let's finish this trailer. You were a crusader. Now, you have to be a warrior. You wanted to steal, now's your time. Was that supposed to happen? Yeah, of course. I like how they ended that trailer with the dun, 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 with the names. Because the action movie was supposed to get you hyped up. You want to get hyped on this movie. Got Jamie Foxx in it. Excellent actor. Comedians make some of the best actors for some reason. Anyway, excellent actor. And like with newer movies, they incorporate African Americans in them, which is good. And anyway, I think my prediction, this was not the best trailer, but it did its job. I like this trailer. You let me know. Get at me on Twitter. Let me know if you like this trailer. Now, whether or not it's going to do good in the movie theater, eh, summer blockbuster season is over, so they don't have to compete with some of those super hype movies like Avengers and all that stuff. And with a lot of drama movies going on because it's Academy Awards season, people like me are going to want to watch some action. I think it'll do okay. We'll see. I'm not completely sure. We still have till November. So, to make the final decision, y'all can influence my decision. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all let me know. It's on you. It's on you. This is it for me. This is for you. Hey, look. We're coming to the end of this show. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you go out and see some movies and see some movie trailers. And like I said, Twitter, Instagram, blah, blah, blah. Hit me up. Let me know what's up. And, um, hmm. Don't worry. I will leave you with a old school hip hop video at the end. But first, my shout out to sites I like, people I like. Tony and Chelsea Northrup. I learned a lot from their tutorials and videos. Uh, first thing I noticed was how Tony always polo down. This is smooth dude, and his his equally talented wife is not. She might be smarter than him, but anyway, not to mention that I think the power would be to put supermodels to shame. But that's another story. Anyway, what? What? Yeah, that's one of the first videos I started looking at and trying to do some photography and all of that. But if you like this video and you have a Gmail account. And please subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the like button and all that. And did I say peace already?
rap and not the rap gun. It's like this young, it's like that young. I'm jumping up for hip hop and not the rap gun. It's like this young, it's like that young. I'm jumping up for hip hop and not the rap gun. It's like this young, it's like that young. I'm jumping up for hip hop. Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Back in the days before I signed the line, when the baby face never got paid to rhyme, when K released Roar and everything was fine before the rap industry messed with my mind. I used to run to the gym, snot nose and all. Never tried to be hard, never tried to play the wall. MCs grab the mic, tap the head, then begin. Flow for four minutes, then pass to the end. But nowadays, 'cause rap page, I got a million rappers and a thousand DJs. All when they talk about how much they flip, when they know that the mouth so much your tongue was kicked. But that's alright. I represent the real hip hop because rappers just rap, but MCs get props and rerun styles. No styles, no run me. Bush babies run things. Represent who you be. It's like this, y'all. It's like that, y'all. I represent the hip hop and not the rap, y'all. It's like this, y'all. It's like that, y'all. I represent the hip hop and not the rap, y'all. It's like this, y'all. It's like that, y'all. I represent the hip hop and not the rap, y'all. Style, I'm gonna live like people do. Now make a new style come run you. I don't stay ambush, go and pass through. I make we tell them what we do. We say mercy, mercy, bitter like Cersei. Not half a boss, I shot me, make a next man hear me. Rush me, coming from the music industry. Everybody want to be a bad man, them crazy. Easy, yeah. Mr. Try to be an MC. I want them, I want them, the mood I use with. Now just for reaching top 10, but them don't know it. So we now go sell out for them. Me ask them the question and it's like them yet then. If we get music and they pop a band friend, a message we are send. Me tell the whole of them, united with it and are divided. We're going. 'Cause it's like this y'all, it's like that y'all. We represent the hip hop and not the rap y'all. It's like this y'all, it's like that y'all. We represent the hip hop and not the rap y'all. It's like this y'all, it's like that y'all. We represent the hip hop and not the rap y'all. It's like this y'all, it's like that y'all. Since you heard somebody rhyme like this, the fortified mental giant that you had dismissed at the top of the list because the masses insist it's a must that I create to elevate from the abyss. The mind must be nourished so the truth can flourish as the rubbish is discovered by the explosion of flooding of my verb. As I infiltrate to state the least, when the energy is released, you can tell it's coming straight from the east. So cease with your ranting and your raving and all the misbehaving that you claim with your name in order to maintain that status on the mic apparatus. Everybody wants to try to sound the fattest or the baddest. That's not the case when you're standing face to face in the place to be, with the face to see from inner space. So face the facts and tell truth to the nation, Mr. Man, and that's my representation. And it's like this, y'all. It's like that, y'all. We represent the hip hop and not the rap, y'all. It's like this, y'all. It's like that, y'all. We represent the hip hop and not the rap, y'all. It's like this, y'all. It's like that, y'all. We represent the hip hop and not the rap, y'all. It's like this, y'all. It's like that, y'all. We represent the hip hop. Things don't run away. We run things. Things don't run away. So anything we do, we're tough enough.